All right, y'all don't sleep on old Captain Creep here. This right here just may be the best Rift Guardian killer for season 27. What little bit of it we got left. You want to know why? I'm fixing to tell you. All right, let's hear what Max Roll has to say on the subject. Today's saying, Rathma, Army of the Dead, which I'm not going to argue with that. That's S tier, hands down. If you've run Rathma, you understand. Um, as long as the ads are right. As long as there's no ads, right? Okay. And then Shadow Impale. And you notice there's a giant double green arrow, like it's going up and up and up. And I just don't agree with that. And here's why. Everybody and their brother, and you guilty if you're watching this video, you know you got an impale. I got an impale. Everybody and their brother's got a damn shadow impale. So it's like a universal, mm -hmm. hey, does anyone have an RGK? I do. It's an impale. Have you ever run with an impale that's one-cycled the Rift Guardian before? I haven't. Usually takes about a full minute with a shadow impale to kill the Rift Guardian. Okay? So... I think that the reason our little buddy, Mr. Spiders right here is on a tier is because nobody's playing it. That's it. So it looks like Max rolls wrong again. Y'all get my movie reference. Let me know in the comments if you know what movie that's from, but uh, all kidding aside, I'm just joking. Y'all don't get mad. I know a lot of y'all get real serious about Max roll. I'm just joking around. Um, I think the reason that this thing is, is a tier on max rolls because nobody's playing it just plain and simple, but I'm going to tell you why it's badass is more badass than hell. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. So this creep right here, everybody knows the witch doctor's creepy. Look, he's got a damn spider hanging out with him. Like this ain't somebody you want to sit next to in the lunchroom. But the reason that he is so badass is his sanctified power this season for season 27. Horrify becomes an aura that causes enemies to receive 100% more damage. You heard that correctly. Causes enemies to receive 100% more damage. And that's for the whole party. So he already brings 100% additive damage. And he allows the, he makes the monsters deal 15% less damage. So there's number one. Okay. That's number one reason why it's better already. Not to mention... You've got a couple other sp uh, other skills here that's making them take more damage. Okay, so you bring Big Bad Voodoo. That's 15% damage. And you bring um, Haunt. 20% more damage. It's also a lot more tanky. So if you played Rift Guardian before, raise your hand if you've died a whole bunch of times playing Rift Guardian. Okay? You don't have to do that anymore. You're not sitting there spirit hopping or ghost walking or crypt walking whatever you want to call it you're not having to do that all the way through the rift because i know if you played shadow impale you're dead all the damn time right yeah rathma is pretty much the same way you're gonna die a lot if you're inexperienced your deaths are you might die twice with this build okay it is a lot tankier you got almost 100 percent extra armor coming on you and that's not on top of ignore pain and all the other stuff it's a good choice just going over the build real quick. It is a uh, witch doctor, a racker spiders, or Eric here, or Araker, however you want to say it, okay? However you pronounce it in your area of the world. We're just running a basic five piece set, ring and roll grandeur. And um, everywhere that you can get corpse spiders damage, you want to get it. So on your britches, okay? On your belt, P places that you can get it, get it. You also want attack speed. That's very important. It's almost more important than physical damage. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? So like on the gloves here, we've got crit, crit, attack speed. Very important to have as many attacks per second as you can possibly squeeze out of this character. On your jewelry, convention, ring of emptiness. Attack speed, attack speed. Starting to catch my drift. Necklace, squirts necklace. Attack speed. Don't worry about your physical on your jewelry. Attack speed. Uh, your gems, simplicity, strength, uh, enforcer, and uh, bane of the stricken. Your weapon, spider queen's grasp, 
with the sanctified power, you need attack speed and damage. Okay? Again, how many times am I going to say it? Attack speed. Good. And your offhand's going to be um, Shurankis, however you say this, the Triumph. What am I missing on here? Attack speed. It rolled really good, so I'm going to use it. Doesn't have attack speed. I probably could squeeze a little bit more out of this, but. It's almost better to have corpse spiders on this over attack speed. You get the best one you can. Build is on max roll, so you can hop over there and look at it. It's nothing special. I just took it straight from max roll. Uh, your belt's Brood of Varani. You're going to run Grin Reaper, and you're going to run um, Lacumbas. Very simple Racker build. Throw you some gems in. I got a, a diamond in here for cooldown. Good to go. All right, in the cube, so... It's a couple different variants you can run with a cube. And if you're running with a Bazooka Wizard, which is what I was doing last night, with Bazooka, you can take Echo and Fury. The reason we can take Echo and Fury with Bazooka is because there is a Z-Monk there. They're dropping a lot of bells. The spiders will actually hit the bells and send me into a rage, okay? You're also going to run Tasker and Theo. Increases your attack speed by your pets 50%. There's that attack speed word again. Um, and of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur. Now, if you run in with a regular group as a regular Rift Guardian killer, you want to run Furnace and again, um, Tasker Theo. So there's only one thing to change um, if you're not running with the LOD Bazooka, which majority of y'all are probably not. So Furnace, Tasker and Theo, or Echo and Fury if you're running with a Z Monk. And your skills are pretty straightforward. Okay, you, you have to run Horrify. Okay, this is what gives you the uh, the 100% additive damage. So you're almost like having another ZDH there. You're bringing more damage to the party. There's no other Rift Guardian killer does that. There's no other Rift Guardian killer that brings another 100% additive damage to the party. So to me, automatically that makes it S tier. Because you're making up, if you're bringing another 100% additive damage to the party, you're already making the Rift go faster, correct? If... Everybody knows what they're doing. So you're going to take Horrify, Frightening Aspect. Frightening Aspect is going to give you 50% additional armor. It says for 8 seconds, but because of our sanctified power, it's going to keep it on at all times. So you see, I'll cast it real quick. Now, if you look down here on our bar, right here, even though the cooldown's done, boom, it's still up. You see the gold around the portrait. You also see around us, there's a circle. It's about 20 yard circle. And that's the aura they're talking about. So every enemy in here is going to get feared and they're going to take more damage. Uh, your primary skill you're going to throw, the main thing you're using is Corpse Spiders, Widowmakers. Okay, Widowmakers are the hardest hitting ones. Those are the ones you want. You're going to take Big Bad Voodoo Slam Dance. This gives your trash killer an extra 15% damage. So now we add 115% damage that we're bringing. Okay. Your defensive skill is going to be spirit walk. I like severance. You can use whatever you want to, um, but you don't need to run jaunt. I know a lot of y'all are saying, why aren't you running jaunt right here? Well, because we're running uh, shikranis. Your spirit walks up all the time until you get around a bunch of elites. Okay. Your cooldown is going to be low enough. It'll come right back. You'll be fine, I promise. So that's why we're taking Severance. A lot of people run Jaunt. You don't need to. Um, you don't need the 20% mana because you're not using any. It's a primary skill. Um, you really don't need that. So you can gain life or you can gain movement speed. I like the movement speed to keep up with the trash killers because a lot of times they're moving pretty fast, right? Um, haunt, Poison Spirit. So every enemy that's haunted takes 20% more damage. So now we had 135%. We almost there with a ZDH. Okay. So pretty interesting. Next one is soul harvest. You're going to take languish and you just want to make sure to be soul harvesting all the time. This is going to give you an extra 50% armor. So you see, we're getting 50% armor from languish. We are getting 50% ar armor from horrify. That's 100% extra armor all the time right there. You don't get that with the other things, with the other classes. Um, 
Your passive's real easy. Pierce the Veil, 20% increase in damage. Spirit Vessel, it's a little controversial. A lot of people here run Creeping Death for the permanent damage amplification. You don't need it with a Rift Guardian Killer. If you're doing your job correctly, it shouldn't last that long. You shouldn't need an infinite boost on this, right? So take the Spirit Vessel. It'll keep you alive. You really need the cheat death. I, I ran it without the cheat death, and it sucked. You, I mean, it was really terrible. Uh, we're going to pick up Grave Injustice. You gain 1% of your max life and mana and reduce cooldown of all of your skills by one second when an enemy dies within 20 yards. So you're going to do massive pulls, especially if you're playing with wizards, and you're going to just about instantly reset your cooldown for Big Bad Voodoo, which is the main reason we take this. You want to make sure you're placing Big Bad Voodoo down right before their uh, their nuke hits. That way it's resetting and you're ready for the next pop. And the last one is Confidence Ritual. Just gives you another 25% additional damage uh, to enemies within 20 yards. So that's your key. You need to stay within 20 yards to kill the Rift Guardian Killer. Okay? It's already telling you that. All right, let's show you a little bit of gameplay, and I'm going to show you why it's so badass. All right, so here's a run from last night where I'm running the... Uh, we're running with a, uh, a Z-Monk, we're running with a LOD Bazooka Wizard, and we're running with me and a Z-Barb, okay? All right, so you see me right here. I'm in Spirit Walk. Z-Barb's got the pack pulled. So what you want to do, you do have a little bit of a job. Yes, we do have an aura, like I said before. You want to make sure that everything is horrified and then haunted, okay? So when the pack is assembled, and you're, you're ready for your cycle or whatever it may be to come up. Go ahead and come on in the pack here. Come on in the pack like I did. And if you look real hard, let's see if I can point one out. Now, if you look real hard, you'll see right here, there's a little skull. And then right over here to the right, there's another skull. That means they've actually been horrified and they're actually taking that damage. So you need to make sure, even though that aura is on, it takes a minute, not a full 60 seconds, but it takes a moment, how about that, for this to be spread to everything. So I like to cast it again, just to make sure. So I come in, you see there's only two enemies here that are haunted let's, or uh, horrified, let's try to get them all. So I come in and we're gonna cast, and then um, we're gonna try to haunt everything also. So I'm going to come in, and you see my deposit right there. You can barely see. I just cast it again. Now, I don't believe that um, I was, I believe it was Wajito that said there's something wrong with the mechanic on this. So you won't always see that everything is horrified, but you can actually start to see now there's a skull here. There's a skull here. There's actually one two three skulls there there's a skull there um so we we've we've done what i want to do there's one there there's kind of one right there that's telling me that's accomplished right once we've horrified everything we're gonna haunt everything so i'm just spamming haunt trying to make sure everything on there is haunted before the boom comes i have already placed big bad voodoo down because the pack is assembled so as soon as the pack's assembled you can drop your big bad voodoo and start horrifying and haunting everything. And that's just what I'm doing here. See, I'm gonna cast horrify again, just make sure everything is to the best of my ability and just try not to die, right? Boom, and there's the hit. And you see that that's just LOD bazooka. It's crazy strong like that. Uh, but that's what you need to do for every pack. It'll give you a little bit of engagement. You won't feel like you're just a kind of a as my buddy says, a stress ball for the damn monsters, right? So, but anyway, that's cool. Let's go to the Rift Guardian and show you what it's really all about. All right, so we got a really good Rift Guardian, really what you want to pray for, okay? I don't care if you believe in prayer. Pray to Jesus, Muhammad, RNG gods, Diablo, Blizzard, whoever you want to pray to. You better pray that you don't get an ad boss, okay? So we got real lucky and got an Infernal Maiden, one of these runs. It was a perfect example to show you. So a couple things you need to do. Before you start throwing spiders, again, haunt. You need to haunt the Rift Guardian. Make sure he's horrified also, but also, you know, that's the biggest thing is to make sure he's haunted so your ring of emptiness is procted, 
okay? Set down your big bad voodoo, get in an Oculus ring, and start throwing spiders. You don't want to move. You want to make sure you're within 20 yards of the Guardian, and you don't want to move once you start throwing spiders, if you can help it. Those, uh, your brood of Rennie, that little belt that you wear, those stacks disappear pretty quick if you have to move around and dodge stuff and all that good jazz. But um, you want progression lag, is what we call. You want to start seeing it get choppy. Don't worry about the lag. That means you're doing it right. Check this out. I'm coming in, and I'm throwing. Throw, 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 throw. Go, 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 go. I see I'm boo-booing. I'm not standing in the Oculus ring here, but I should be. It would have gone a little bit faster. Boop, boop, mm -hmm. and <laughs> Peter Griffin laugh. I love that. <laughs> That's so awesome. There we go. You see how fast that was? Is your impale doing it that fast? I don't think so. I, I highly doubt it. If it is, I want you to join my clan and show me. That'd be badass. But uh, you saw that was less than a minute. I don't even know. Somebody let me know what that was. Maybe 20 seconds. Um, it does take just a second to get going. So it's like a throttle. You know, it's almost like turbo lag. You got to spool up them spiders and then it starts hitting hard. And, you know, floors that ass. So anyway, y'all appreciate you watching to the end. I know it's kind of a longer video than I usually been doing here lately. Uh, this is something to try out before the PTR drops, uh, maybe in a couple days, hopefully. But uh, again, if you need a clan to run with, Plebs for Life, Diablo 3, we are always recruiting. We have over 100 active people. Uh, so go ahead and join us if you need a clan to run with. Hey, do me a favor, 90% of y'all watch this are not subscribed. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Just helps the channel grow and helps me bring better content to you. So we appreciate y'all, and uh, we'll see you next time.